In this video, we will be building a super simple API which converts words to color values. Then we will deploy that on the edge so that it can be blazingly fast. But most importantly, we do all of this in under 5 minutes. So hit the like button and let's get started. To build our API, we will be using Cloudflare Workers and HANA Web Framework. Yes, I know, I know, it is again a brand new framework, but it says it's ultra fast. So I guess we must try it. But to do so, we obviously need to create a new project. And since we will be deploying on Cloudflare Workers, we can initialize our project by using the Wrangler command line tool. If you don't have that installed, you can install it by using these commands. And while you are at it, also make sure that you create a Cloudflare account. We will need that in a second. Anyways, to initialize the project, we will be using the Wrangler init command followed by the project name. In this case, let's name it something simple, like HANA color converter. Then we just hit enter. Then it asks us that if we want to use Git. I choose no, because this will be a temporary project. And yes, we want to use package.json file. And yes, we also want to use TypeScript as well. And finally, it asks us that if we want to use a worker template. And yes, we want to use the fetcher handler because it will automatically create the source folder and basically the index file. Okay, great. Our project is now initialized. Now, let's open it up. There we see the basic folder structure, but we are interested in the index.ts file under the source directory. We open it up and delete everything inside it. At this point, we have a clean slate and we are ready to create our API from ground up. So let's start off by installing HANA. To do it, I will be using Node. However, keep in mind that you can also use BAN or Dino as well. Once the installation has completed, we then install the color convert module. It will help us to manage colors more easily. And since we are using TypeScript, we will be installing types as well. At this point, we are ready to code our API. To begin with, let's import HANO like so. Then we import keywords from color converts, because this is how we can utilize the words in the context of color. After doing that, we initialize our app like so. Now we are ready to define our routes. First, let's add our home routes. To do it, we simply use the app.get method. We then feed the home route like so and give the context. And finally, return a text that defines our application and how to use it. Nothing special and if you have used Express Framework before, it should look familiar. Anyways, now we come to an important part, our API structure. It basically consists of two parts, color format and color name. The color format can be two values, either hex or RGB. And color name is, well, the color name. To give an example, the path of hex red should return us ff0000. Likely RGB blue should return us 00255. You get the idea. To implement it, we again use the get method, but this time we specify routes like so. The column will indicate a dynamic route so that we can use them as variables and return different results. To use them as variables, we will be using the param method from the request just like that. And after doing so, we then add the required conditions. So if the color format is hex, we return the hex value provided by the color converts. If it is RGB, then we return the RGB value instead. It is as simple as that. And finally, if neither one is the case, then we simply return an info statement. And that's basically it. We are ready to try it out. To do so, we fire up a development server by using the Wrangler dev command. As you can see, it is now up and running in the port 8787. So we can head over there in our browser and try it out. So if I go to hex slash red path, it should return ff0000. And we can see it is exactly the case. And if I switch to RGB, there we go again. Okay, perfect. Now we are ready to deploy it. To do it, we first need to log into the Cloudflare from our terminal. So we use the Wrangler login command. It will open up our browser and lets us authenticate. Once it's done, it should say successfully logged in on our terminal. Then we simply execute the Wrangler publish command followed by our index file location. In this example, source and index.ts file. Therefore, it looks like this. And once we run it and let it publish, it will be deployed. As you can see, it is super simple. To check it out, let's head out to our worker console. There, we can see that it is deployed successfully. And if we click on it, we see the deployment details. And one field I'm interested in is this URL. So if I click it, as you can see, it returns the result of our home path. And if I change its path to, let's say, hex and light blue, there we have it. It is working perfectly. In the end, this is a super simple introductory video to HANO and Cloudflare workers. I know that projects like HANO are around for not that long, so personally I won't be using it for any production applications. However, as you can see when it's combined with Cloudflare workers, it can become a pretty useful tool for development and testing purposes. So keep that in mind, and that said, I hope you've enjoyed it and find it somewhat useful. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.